Hello YouTube, this is Xterminator278 and today I'm making a video teaching you how to make your iPhone's internet a lot faster. Now, I know this is iPhone's internet, I'm, I haven't tried this on Android devices yet. I might soon actually, uh, there's a reason why I think it won't, because it requires a, um, a bookmark lit, which is it's similar to a bookmark, but it's kind of different, it's not the same thing. So basically, I'm going to unlock my device. One minute. In case you want to know how to do that um, lock pattern, I made a video about it called How to Get Android Lock Pattern. As you can see here, it says LTE in the top left hand corner. I know it says LTE, which is 4G connection. Now, this, this doesn't have 4G connection, it's just a Cydia tweak that teaches you how to get that icon. In the nearby future, I might hopefully make a video on teaching how to do that. But until now, this doesn't matter. So all that matters is, as I'll just show you, I'll get SB settings down here. 3G is on, and data is on. So when they're both on, 3G and data, that means you've got 3G connection. When I turn 3G off, there's only data. Watch how the toggle's going to just slowly just wait a bit more, and then it will turn to the E, which stands for edge. See that? So I'm just going to turn it on quickly. I'm going to open a website that, that requires um, a lot of, like, it takes a long time to open. But first I'm just going to clear my history and clear cookies and data so nothing gets in the way of opening. So when I go come here, first I'm going to show you the speed difference and then I'm going to show you how to get it. So... I'm just going to go ahead and go to address. Actually, I'm going to go to Google and write in Friv. Now, Friv is a gaming site which a lot of kids go on. You just write friv.com in case you want to try it out yourself. Now, when I do this, as you can see, this is the actual Friv. It's called friv.com. There are many more, such as friv.org, friv.co.uk. Basically, go write friv.com. That's, that's what. what that has a lot of games, like hundreds of games. Basically, when I open Friv.com, it says this is a mobile site and it doesn't have flash because iPhone doesn't have flash, surprisingly. So you're going to write instead of Friv.com, Friv.org. Because this one is the old version of Friv. The new one is Friv.com, which understands that there's a mobile device, but the old one doesn't. All it knows is that it's Friv. So you're going to write friv.org and it's loading. Now, oh, oops, I forgot to do something. So again, I'm going to do this and write in friv.org. Remember, it's friv.com is actual new one. Friv.org is the old one. So three, I'm going to open friv.org now. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that was fifteen seconds. When I tried it before, it was actually seventeen seconds, but there's not much of a difference. So I'm going to count it anyways as fifteen seconds. Now I'm going to use the Google proxy. So three, two, one, go. One, two. That took two seconds, that's it, it has, it's finished loading. As you can see, it looks a lot different, but everything is still usable, so I can just write youtube.com. Open up YouTube. So here's YouTube opening up. This is a proper YouTube. Now I'll use Google Proxy to open it up. It still works, so this is our video. So if it's slow, slow, just click on Google Proxy again. And then it opens up. So it works properly. And that's a good thing. So I'm just going to teach you how to do this. Now there is something that you have to use for this. So it's like a, it's something that you have to add. It's I named it Google Proxy. It's, you just add it in your bookmarks. If you don't know how to add, like you need a custom bookmark for this it's not a website or anything so how do you do that simple just type in some random website so this is how I did it google.com 
at for now and just make a bookmark for google.com right ah oh, sorry so bookmark for google.com and then when it says bookmark there's google.com and it says google for now name it whatever you want I'm, I'm just gonna name it some random thing and click on save and once you've saved it you go to where your bookmarks are you scroll down where is mine I just need to find mine I don't think I added it. Let me just try that again. So, I think you have to keep it as is for now. So, I'm just going to keep it as is. Got it. Now, here it is. So, you go, and here's the one that I added before. It's called Hog, for some strange reason. I'm going to delete that one and I'm going to keep the one that I just added called Google. So, when you click on that, it opens up Google. So, anyways, I'm going to click on edit in the bottom left corner and by the way I'm using iris 5.1.1 jailbroken with absinthe 2.0 so when after you've clicked on edit you click on the google one then it says http google.co.uk so there you can choose what you want to call it and you can choose what you want to call it and the website name so where it says address I'm going to delete everything and I'm going to write something in the description below so copy that and paste it after you've made your custom bookmark copy and paste it into there so just like I've taught you made a bookmark then click on edit and where it says address you're just gonna paste it so I'm gonna paste it here after you paste it just call it Google proxy so Google proxy but I already have it so I'm not gonna do it I've already got it right there and let's see what it's like if you just open Google Proxy without any website, look what happens. It just comes like we encountered the error adapting the page you requested for your phone because there was no page requested unless you put YouTube.com. Once you're doing that, oh, wait, I wrote YouTube wrong. YouTube.com and then click on YouTube.com. Then, as you're doing that, just click on Google Proxy, and then even when the website is loading, it checks this bar up here, so it doesn't look at what page is already open. So, as I write friv.org, even before friv has even loaded, I can quickly click on Google Proxy, and it will actually wait. It needs a bit of time. So friv.org, wait for it to recognize the website, so it will recognize when it says friv up there. Then you can quickly click on Google Proxy. So now I'm going to teach you how to get Google Proxy, or well, actually I've already taught you. So I'm going to paste the link in the description bar. Once again, I'm going to show you how to make your own custom bookmark. We're going to type, go up to some random website, make a bookmark for it, save everything as it is, then go to the bookmark, click on edit in the bottom left hand corner, go down to the bookmark, then where it says address, paste um, the long text in the description bar, and where it says name, call it whatever you want and that's all when you're finished whenever you want to open a website click on google proxy so thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe